Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a really easy method to copy text to your clipboard. Um, this is going to use a plugin that you'll need to install. Uh, so I'm going to take you through my little example here um, and show you how it works. So the first thing that you want to do, head over to your plugin section and install the Air Copy to Clipboard plugin. This is um, another Bubble Users plugin and it works very, very well for this. So Air Copy to Clipboard. Once you do that, you'll have a new action available in your workflows. So my button here, uh, it's labeled copy current page URL to clipboard. So when I click on this, basically it's just going to take whatever's in the address bar um, for whatever page you're on and copy that to your clipboard. And then you can paste it in an email, you know, um, in a chat, wherever you wanna send that text. Okay, so when we start edit workflow for this button, I'm gonna navigate to the plugins actions here and then go to copy to clipboard very very easy all you have to do is type in the text that you want to copy here i can type it in directly like that or i can insert dynamic data by navigating to something that's pulling from my database or one of these shortcut values here so i'm just going to go to this url this will take the web address of the page that i'm that i'm on okay now to let the user know that they've successfully copied uh, the text to the clipboard, it's a good idea to show a little alert message or some kind of feedback uh, so that they know that they can move on and that they uh, can paste that text somewhere. So I'm going to add this alert element here and I'm just going to say uh, copied like that. Okay, and then we'll go back to our workflows and I will show that alert message right after the copy action. This is gonna be our copied alert. Okay, so now the user will know immediately that they've copied it properly. Um, and also, just for our sake here, I'm going to add an input element so that we can then paste what we've copied just to make sure that it was copied properly. Okay, so I'm going to preview the page now. All right, so I'm going to click on copy there. We know that it's copied. Now if I come here, I will right click and paste. I can see that what has been pasted is exactly what's in my URL here. Just to show you, just to prove that I didn't have it previously copied, I'm going to copy this bubble apps here first. Copy that and let's paste that here. So bubble apps is currently in my clipboard. Now if I click on this button again, copy and we will paste over that with what is in my clipboard which should be our page URL. So it's working very well. This is something that you can use in so many different scenarios. Um, you know, if you wanted to copy a profile page, for example, let's say that your uh, the page has content type set to user, uh, like this here. So anytime you navigate to this page, you can send a different user record to it. So you have like a profile page system going. And if you wanted, um, you know, to share the link for that particular user's profile page, you can do copy uh, this URL, and then you'll want to append the current page user's unique ID to it, because that's actually how Bubble constructs those dynamic pages. It takes the base URL for the page, so it'd be like yourapp.com slash profile, and then Bubble adds on the unique ID of that thing for the page. So if we're talking about user profiles, it's the unique ID of the user. So it would be yourapp.com slash profile slash unique ID number. Um, the, that last slash is included here, so that's why I'm not adding a slash in the middle there. All right, so that's a pretty handy way to share dynamic pages um, simply by copying a link to the clipboard like that. All right, if you like this video, it was a pretty quick tip. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm adding more videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.